seconds. This is Morty Croson. We're giving away free online breakdowns to all of our subscribers. In order to enter the drawing, just click the like button below, subscribe, and comment my online breakdown. Enjoy the rest of the video. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Maury Croson here from the Performance Lab of California, and we have another new great breakdown for you today on Christian Coleman. Christian Coleman is probably the fastest, if not one of the fastest people currently um, in the world, right? So, you know, obviously Usain Bolt is older, um, and so, you know, he's, he's kind of past his prime, and, and Christian Coleman seems pretty prime to come in and and kind of take over as as the uh the fastest guy at least he has the world record for uh the 60 meter dash with the 634 and that's what we're breaking down here today is that 60 meter dash and and really you know what i want to do is i want to give you guys a really good understanding of the transition phase what we've recently done here is we've broken the transition phase into two different parts okay because i think that it ends up being a little bit too um, vague when we just talk about the overall time that you want to be able to maximize in your transition phase. So just to give you kind of a rough understanding of where Christian Coleman's at, if we go into his actual, um, you know, his, his sprinting and how much time it takes him for each one of the phases, it takes for the initial initial part of the 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 first half on the right leg takes him 0.11 seconds to come up essentially and then on the left leg it takes him about 0.09 seconds and i'm going to go into more detail with this in a second and then the transition phase two it takes him the right about 0.17 and then on the left about 0.19 okay and essentially what we're looking at and, and what these numbers represent is how much time he spends off of off the ground right and there ends up being and these are obviously you know it's hard to be you know perfect this really you know if you can get anything into like a 0.32 obviously christian coleman's moving very very fast um but if you get a 0.32 combined you're you're going to be running very very fast right this is one again this is one of the fastest guys in the world so his are going to be closer to about 0.30 maybe even 0.32 or 0.29 in terms of how much time he's spending off the ground but that just gives you an idea of how fast his legs are doing so now let's go into the different parts of the transition phase so if we're looking at the transition phase what ends up being part one we're looking at christian coleman right there uh, and this is his right leg, is the time that you toe off, okay? So you press, you come off the ground to the time that your heel gets to the to your butt. And then really, it's actually the time that you're, you're toe off until you get your, your right foot up to, to midline. Uh, so this one, it's hard to see. Let's go back maybe one. Just because the frames per second here don't work out perfect. Right, so right about there is going to be the transition phase. So it's when his foot comes off the ground until the foot comes to that, that midline. And again, that's about 0.1 seconds, 0.11 seconds, okay? And that's the first part of the transition phase. Then as he transitions forward, now he gets drives the, the leg forward, extends the leg out in front of him. See how good he does that? We always talk about you want to be able to drive that knee up and then extend the leg out and then pull back right again this is the, the the video ends up moving so fast here just because the frames per second rate but after he gets that leg out in front it's all about being able to pull back down and get that leg back underneath okay so from here pull that leg back underneath and, and you can see how fast that happens so in 0.04 seconds he goes from there to there okay that took 0.04 seconds just I, again to give you an idea overall that whole transition phase is at that 0.17 uh, around right and so and i know the combined here it's about 0.28 you know probably it might be it's somewhere between 0.28 and 0.3 right in terms of that is overall transition time and 
the the big thing that you want to think about though is being able and a lot of times what we end up doing is we lose our transition time here okay so we end up spending too much time there i mean really both parts of it so bringing up your heel up to your butt and being able to get it to your the middle part of your body making it so that is you know in under the 0.15 i would say if you can get anything under 0.15 that's going to be huge in that first pay, phase right now we'll look at the left leg so here toe off so now we're looking at this leg here toe off until he gets his foot right about to midline okay so we're a little bit past it here so once he gets that foot about about to midline it's going to be the first part of the transition phase and then the second part of the transition phase is after he gets that foot to midline being able to stride out and then pull that leg back underneath him boom pulling that leg back underneath and then the time that he touches the ground so back to ground contact time that's going to be the second part of the transition phase the time that his foot crosses the midline until the ground touches the foot touches the ground is the the ground contact time and, and what really makes it so you can improve here is that if you're actually creating a pull because a lot of times we see people and this is going to be an advanced video right so if you're, if you're getting lost a little bit here you got to go back and you got to watch some of our other videos of some of our other stuff and be able to get caught up in exactly what the transition phases are and the ground contact phase is and the top end speed phase this is all top end speed phase that we're looking at here but if you've been been up with our stuff then you should be able to understand that that second part of the transition phase is really when you're driving that knee up extending and then pulling back underneath you by getting that pull down underneath you that's what creates all the speed when you're actually running that's what gets, gets that really elite turnover and then and that's going to be really what ends up separating you guys so the reason i wanted to make this video is to get you guys to understand that really what we're how we're going to start looking at the transition phases there's two distinct variables within it there's that first that we're talking about with the back and then there's also the front and the reason that is because we have too many times where we just have people that have, hey your transition time is 0.36 you need to get better you or your transition point 0.38 or whatever the transition times end up being it ends up being too confusing on okay what do i actually need to improve if you have a 0.36 transition time that doesn't necessarily tell you what is your problem right but now if we can break it into two sections where we're getting the back part the transition phase one where you're driving that heel up to your butt and then bringing it to your midline and then we break it up into transition phase two where you're now crossing the midline with the foot extending the foot and then driving it back underneath you now we can get a little bit more detailed where you know again if, if we're going to try to standardize it and say you know about 0.15 going back and and probably about 0.17 you know somewhere between 0.17 and, and 0.19 when you bring your leg out in front you know depending on on how tall you are you know you saying bolt he's going to be closer to like 0.22 right just to give you an idea of, of how long he's spending in the front as uh, gives that that really long stride but with that 0.19 uh, to 0.22 what that'll do is it'll it'll make it so if you're not in those areas now you can really focus on okay you know i need to get more pull or i need to be able to drive that leg through faster so now we can segmentize it a little bit more effectively for you to help you in being able to uh, maximize your sprint and get a lot faster a lot easier all right so as, as always guys i hope this made sense i hope this is that you're able to connect with it um, if it doesn't, you could always reach out to us. You could always ask us questions. You know, we're really making big advances here, guys, within the performance lab and what we're doing with our breakdowns and what we're doing with our programs. I highly, highly recommend if you're watching these videos and, and haven't, you know, reached out to us and tried to talk to us and, and get some type of engagement, then you're missing out, okay? So so go, you can go and reach out to us. We have email, you know, Instagram, whatever, you know, get a breakdown. Start to get yourself to get familiar, familiarize yourself with what are the mechanics? The reason that you're not as sprinting as fast as you want to be sprinting is there's a mechanic issue. It's all about mechanics, guys. It's not about how much power you have or how many, how much you can squat or you know how far you can jump, whatever the case may be there. If you don't have the right mechanics, you're not going to be, it's just going to take you longer. You could get to your goal by you know working on your power, working on your strength, etc. But what is going to make get you there faster is to really connect with those mechanics and really make a big impact there. So um, hopefully that, 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 that makes sense and hopefully this video made sense. And if you're interested in, in getting a breakdown of our program, go ahead and reach out to us. We'll have a link in, in the bio here as well as any one of our, our social medias are on our website. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you guys soon so much for watching this video i hope you really enjoyed it and if you did you can subscribe down below and that way you can get updates on any of the new videos that we get also if you want to you can check out some of our other breakdowns for speed and throwing we have exercises also jumping mechanics videos a lot of great stuff within our channel hope you enjoy